in 2021 just few months back in february everybody got a message that whatsapp has updated its privacy policy and there were friends of mine who started shifting to an app called signal and started shifting to telegram and about telegram i think ashok will be speaking later but let's speak about what was the privacy policy update so we are updating our terms and service policy please accept if you want to continue using whatsapp so whatsapp gave you that it is my way or the highway so either you accept it and continue using whatsapp if you don't accept it you are out so there was no disagree button there was only an agree button there so what was what did they do so bad that their name suddenly started spoiling so what they mainly updated was a app called whatsapp business in which we'll be discussing it in detail later so if you are do though you still have the power you can remove or block businesses from your contacts so they are not doing anything wrong you can always block but such businesses earlier were only using whatsapp now they have they can connect with you on facebook but those are only whatsapp businesses and not the normal whatsapp users then of course they also gave you a feature that what data is shared with facebook you can always always download so if you go right now into your whatsapp settings and accounts sorry whatsapp settings and accounts then request account information within 3 days you will be able to download that account information ke what whatsapp holds the data on you and of course you will have to export the report onto your computer to read it properly because it will be a big file then they clarified which basically everybody was afraid that the privacy and security of our personal chats that is the one who are using whatsapp messenger and not whatsapp business will never change they the attachments whatever the location they can never be seen by whatsapp or facebook that is what they say neither do they keep logs of whom you are texting or calling them and whatsapp it says that does not share your contacts with facebook but whatsapp itself is so big that it will share it with whatsapp business people of course but not without your permission you have control over your data that is what they say of course i don't know how much is the control it however it will not whatsapp as a company or facebook as a company is not going to share your phone number that this number belongs to dr neeraj bijlani or this number belongs to dr ashok sham and this is your and you are selling and they are looking out for say buying a equipment and yeah this to the equipment dealer that is not going to happen but but there is a but to it but they will ask you for permission before sharing so right like yesterday i got a new feature i saw a new feature they are called whatsapp bots so i took a new insurance policy for myself tata ai and immediately i got a message from tata ai do you wish to continue on whatsapp so the moment i say yes then it starts asking me questions okay this is your policy do you agree to it so it makes your life a little easier at the cost of sharing a little bit of data i feel that whatsapp makes your life much more easier than what it was 5 years back i don't think it is making it difficult of course everything comes at a cost of course there is there are many privacy features which i'll come to later so your acceptance to your new terms of service if you are using only whatsapp messenger you are not increasing whatsapp ability whatsapp is already sharing a little bit of your data before you started using whatsapp so these are the main things which are seen on the whatsapp website that it does not keep logs of everyone who's messaging or calling does not share your contacts with facebook you can set your messages to disappear especially in groups and your groups remain private it cannot be searched online if you don't want them to be searched and whatsapp cannot see your searched searched location neither can facebook of course as i told you earlier you can always download your data now what can you do with this privacy uh, about your privacy if you wish to continue using whatsapp in the year 2021 so you can change your privacy setting if right now if you want to do it you can open your phone right now open whatsapp go into settings then into your account and then you'll get a tab called privacy and in the privacy these are the which things which you can change you can change your last seen which i have kept to nobody this last seen is a time like what when you open somebody's contact so then you'll be able to see ah he was last seen at 
फोर ए एम सो वॉट हैपन समटाइम यू गेट इन द मिडल ऑफ द नाइट एंड यू हैव फोर ए एम में तुमने ऐसे गलती से व्हाट्सअप आदत से मजबूर व्हाट्सअप का कोई मैसेज खोल के देख लिया एंड देन योर पेशेंट विल टेल यू इन द मॉर्निंग दैट नो डॉक्टर यू आर तो ऑनलाइन तो दैट इज वाइट्स ऑलवेज नो बडी फॉर मी योर प्रोफाइल फोटो आई फील शुड बी फॉर एवरी वन एंड योर प्रोफाइल फोटो शुड बी नीट एंड क्लीन ऑफ योर ओन नॉट ऑफ योर चाइल्ड नॉट ऑफ योर वाइफ नॉट ऑफ योर फैमिली इफ यू आर यूजिंग दिस व्हाट्सअप एंड शेयरिंग द नंबर विथ योर पेशेंट्स एंड कलीग्स कीप योर सोलो फोटो or you can keep an abstract photo whatever you want but keep it to everyone is my suggestion the second option is you can keep it to my contacts so you can keep whatever photo you want but then it doesn't get shared with unknown people then about is that hey i am using whatsapp so that is something which i change instead of hey i am using whatsapp busy you can write whatever you want customize that message maybe put a landline number for appointment maybe put an alternate contact number of your receptionist so people know that they can contact you there If you open my WhatsApp and see right now, you'll get my clinic details there. Then there is groups. I have kept everyone can add me in the group. And then there is status. Thirty people are excluded of seeing my status. Those are mostly my patients. Live location. I would always tell you to keep none. You should never keep your live location on. Whatever happens. Then of course, if you see my blocked contacts are hundred and two blocked. So people who don't listen to me and send me good morning messages every day, I just block them. So it is easier. You give them one warning. and you block them you know when this happens you have some patient has shared a photograph of show shared a pathology report with you or x ray report with you discussed your case a follow up patient next day say good morning good evening happy diwali happy new year i give them one warning use only for professional reasons they don't listen block no second warning then you cannot chat with me on whatsapp so this is the privacy control which you have and of course read receipts are those double blue ticks i keep it off i don't want to know that if you have read my message or not i don't wish to know that you have read my message or not i don't want wish to give away my privacy that i have read your message or not so it is the double blue tick is always off in my phone and of course you can keep a screen lock but i think as a surgeon i would not recommend you because then every time somebody is calling you on whatsapp call or somebody is calling you on whatsapp or somebody is messaging you and during the surgery you want to send whatsapp receive whatsapp then it becomes a difficult headache if you keep a screen lock so i don't recommend it especially with the mask not recommended because then every time you have to put a password on the whatsapp so these are the privacy settings which you should change now today immediately that is my recommendation you can always change it back if it doesn't suit you but try it once then the second thing which happens is that when you get up in the morning you get thousands of messages some messages are interesting some videos are really interesting but you have to go take a bath you have to go brush your teeth have breakfast and leave for work leave for surgery so what do you do you miss out on those messages and they never come to you so you make a private group the private group will consist initially of only two people maybe you and your spouse you your sister brother anyone your partner and then you remove that partner from the group and if you see this is my private group called read later i am the only member in this group so you can just forward all the important messages which you feel you want to read it later and it comes here and you can name the group as read later documents anything sometimes nowadays people ask for aadhar card pan card copies you can keep it there so you can it is easier to forward from here than to every time go to your gallery search for that aadhar card which was taken photograph was taken one month back then this is a uh, very interesting many people may not be aware of it that you can do basic photo editing inside whatsapp before sending a photo you can put your name on the photo so that that x ray is not becomes your copyright you can remove the patient demographics from the photo you can make the x ray look much better so i'll just show you a small video what i'll show you is i'll take up a photograph like this it is a mal united fracture of the clavicle and if you see this photo is blue so now what i'll do is that i will uh make this photo first i'll crop it i want to remove the patient's name so you can just crop it if you see there is lot of editing features here you just crop it and show the main part and then i click on done again and then after that i just swipe up and then i get an option of making it black and white i put a filter on it a black and white filter like we put on instagram and then i write with a pen whatever i want i can put a arrow icon uh, even write a text so i'll just write a text and after writing the text i'll just zoom i zoom pinch it so it becomes smaller this text can be anything this can be your name also so that even if it the x ray goes to anyone 
And this all happens inside WhatsApp. You don't need any extra app for it. For all this basic editing. So even if this X-ray is used in a presentation or forwarded anywhere, everybody knows that it has come from my side. This is how it can be with a very simple inside WhatsApp and you send the X-ray. So you have managed to edit it and this is how it goes. And the original X-ray was blue. Let me show you again how the original X-ray looked. This is how the original X-ray looked. See, just check it out. And this is how it looks now. Then we come to a separate app called WhatsApp Business. It is another app which you can download from the Play Store or App Store. You can have a separate number on the same phone. What I recommend is that you, if you want to communicate with patients on WhatsApp, you keep the separate number on the same phone using WhatsApp business, but the SIM card remains in your assistant's phone. So the WhatsApp is with you. So you don't get calls. You answer on WhatsApp whenever you want. There are special features like this QR code which you can hang in your clinic where they can scan. Once they scan this QR code, it directly goes into the WhatsApp. If anybody wants to try, they can scan this QR code and see what happens. And there are features where you can put your clinic timings, hospital attachments. You can even put a Google map link. You can create catalogs. So I know surgeons who have created catalogs of various different surgeries they do. So by putting some x-rays or some clinical photos that these are the surgeries, deformity corrections they do. So patients on WhatsApp only will know what kind of work you are capable of doing and they may come to you. You can even write the different forms of treatment you do. And of course these are the short links which you can create. Uh, then a very interesting thing many people have asked me that you, sometimes you want to communicate with a carpenter, plumber, but you don't want to save their number. So how do I do it? So this is a small trick, just pay very uh, close attention. You can you message anyone on WhatsApp without saving their number by just going to Chrome or your Safari browser. So open the browser, Chrome on Android or Safari on iPhone and type the following wa dot me, m e slash. 9191 is the India country code and then you type the number. Once you have typed that number that I am doing on the right side and I then just go, click on go or enter and then it takes me to open WhatsApp or WhatsApp business. I have two apps so it will give me an option first of WhatsApp business. So I just open and then it, I open in WhatsApp. I have options, multiple options. So you open and then when I open it starts the chat. See the number is not saved but I can still message that person. It is as simple as that. This person's privacy setting is not on. I don't know who he is. It's just a random number. But you can see the privacy setting is not on. The photo is still visible to an unknown person. So the DP should not be visible to an unknown person. So it's very simple. You have to remember only two words. wa.me slash 91. Front slash 91. That's it. This is what you have to remember. Of course, this is the end of my presentation. So to more, no more and to stay in touch, you can connect to us with our WhatsApp or Telegram groups on Orthotech. You can write to me on this email address or you can message me on this mobile number. Thank I thank you. you very much for your attention.